you can now easily create cycle-based generic motion operations that can be templatized for reuse. This example will demonstrate how to create specialized motion sequences for cycle-based on-machine probing. A new reference suboperation has been introduced to define general key input that can be reused inside the actual suboperations. Once defined in this container, the inputs are available from inside the suboperations and other constructs like loops and conditionals. The names you specify in this container are turned into expressions that you can then use in the suboperations. We will begin by creating the reference suboperation that contains the inputs you customized. The reference subop move type is new. The names associated with these options can now be used as expressions in the suboperations inside this container. Next, we'll customize the reference suboperation options into the main dialog box. For every input you define in the Customized Generic Motion dialog box, the system automatically creates an expression that can be used in place of the fixed constants when you create the suboperations. The suboperations now allow input to come from the operation level. The first suboperation in this example traverses the probe to a position centered above the hole. When function is selected, a string field is provided, allowing you to enter an expression or a formula containing expressions. You may copy and paste expressions from the information window, or you may key in expressions and formulas manually. In this example, the origin of the coordinate system is used as the point location, and the delta z is defined by a function that uses the expression defined for the clearance distance. The second suboperation in this example traverses the probe into the hole. The distance is defined by a function that uses the negative value of the expression that has been defined for the clearance distance minus the expression that has been defined for the depth. You can now define loop suboperations to repeat a set of suboperations multiple times. The loop move option is new. In this example, the loop times is defined by a function that uses the expression that has been defined for the number of touch points. The first suboperation in the loop defines an approach move toward the wall. In this example, we have an input that controls the number of touch points. Based on the number defined, all operations under the loop construct will be executed multiple times, in this case, four touch points. In this example, the distance is defined by a function that divides the 360 degrees of the hole into segments depending on the number of touch points and stays away from the wall by the expression defined for the length of the probing move, also factoring in the expression for the tool radius. The second suboperation in the loop defines a move to touch the wall. In this example, the distance is defined by a function that uses the expression defined for the length of the probing move. The third suboperation in the loop defines a traverse back to the center of the hole. In this example, the distance is defined by the same function as in the first suboperation within the loop, minus 180 degrees. The last suboperation retracts the probe out of the hole. The delta z is defined by a function that uses the expression defined for the clearance distance. Editing the path settings allows you to see the effects on the loop in the sub-operations.